Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're in Deer Park, New York, visiting the first company in the Northeast to make the traditional tropical treat, plantain chips. Welcome to Hoyas Foods. Uh, this is a manufacturing facility for plantain chips. The reason we, why we decided to get into the business is because we noticed that the plantain chips that we, we were eating weren't as good as, uh, the, the quality wasn't there. We thought that we can make a better chip and here we are. Hoyos Foods' main competitive advantage is that they're made in New York. Most of the plantain chips, they come from out of the country. When they take uh, the goods from containers, high temperatures or low temperatures damages the product because it'll take them three weeks to, to get here. Our selling point is within a week's worth, we could get it in your shelves. The plantain is a fruit related to the banana. And just like the banana, they're grown in tropical countries. These are imported from Ecuador. They are hand peeled before shipping because a plantain peeling machine doesn't exist. And then we slice them and, and then we start the production of it. We are all natural. We don't put any chemicals into the whole process. Although Octavio lives in Queens, New York, establishing his company in Deer Park made business sense. We were trying to be within the New York City area and the leasing over there is, is, is expensive for a facility this size. We only have four employees and plus it's my wife and I. A major challenge for an upstart chip company is securing shelf space in an already crowded field. You know, every retail store that we go, the space is very limited. So therefore, we have to find out ways on how to get our products uh, into the shelves. And sometimes that requires a personal pitch from the company's founder. The first box that I sold personally was um, a, a, at a grocery store that I went, I showed them a sample, I opened it up, I told them, here, can you taste it? As they seek new distribution channels, Hoyos Foods has only begun to tap its production capacity. We're doing about a thousand cases a month, but we have a capacity to do 600,000 bags per month. That's the equivalent of 10,000 cases. But to get there, they have to expand beyond their core consumer. Not only Hispanics eat platano, Asians, some part of Asians, they eat plantains. Africans eat plantains. And right now in Canada, North America, and Europe, uh, it's beginning to be a trend to be eating plantains because other people, uh, immigrants that are coming from other parts of the, of the world. To break into the American mainstream, the public needs to get a plantain education. It'll take some time for an American that doesn't know what a plantain is to understand its values of the fruit. It's very high potassium, it has vitamin A, vitamin C. One bag fills you up as opposed to a potato chip bag. And maybe a glass of water or a glass of juice, that's it. You're yeah. done for the day. Hoyos Foods would love to get national distribution, but for now, they're hustling to expand their local channels. Yeah, we're trying to hustle. We're, we're trying to uh, try to see if we can distribute to every uh, bodega, supermarket, and um, delis across uh, uh, the tri-state area.